All right, folks, here we go with another new layout update for well, 2022 before Christmas here. Back on the layout and uh, I haven't really done a whole lot since the last time I was in here, but you know, stuff kind of takes time and you know, run into issues and you know, sit and you know, how that goes. So, over here working on the residential area and just wanted to show this before I move on with some grass staticky update sticky stuff you know if you're gonna do stick it down make it green have fun with it this is unsanded tile grout now I've seen other people use this stuff <clears throat> Not really having any kind of explanation as to how it works. Um, I thought it'd be hard, like tile grout is, but being unsanded, I guess, means it doesn't have much of a hardening agent to it, so it's very chalky when you sand it. Uh, but it sands absolutely beautifully, easy, smooth. It's, it's really actually a dream to work with very easy to go too far but you know what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to level this area out somewhat just so it makes it easier to you know make the houses not look like they've got big gaps on them don't have all my houses built yet I've still got some 3d printed Sears kits I bought off eBay uh, that I need to build I'm gonna do videos on those It'd be kind of interesting to see what those are like. Not a whole lot of money. I like the idea of somebody else making kits besides just Woodland and Skeenix. So even though those are, Woodland and Skeenix are nice kits, don't get me wrong, but I like a variety. You know, it just it's nice. So this stuff, like I said, sands really nice. Very easy. It's soft, but you know, you're not sanding it like the plaster. The, the, the plaster there, you know, that, that mess right there. You're not having to really work it, get all the muscle weights and stuff like that on it to shape it. This is nice. I'm going to put something on this. I don't know what yet. Some kind of a clear coat, maybe just acrylic paint. I don't know. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention about is the plaster sucks. If I could find the bag, I'll show you which brand it is, and uh, maybe you'll not want to buy it. So I just gave it another coat of what I'm going to call smooth it, because it goes on really smooth. And I just apply it like I do body filler. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. So I had a few little dips and sags and not sags but dips craters craters that's the word so since I don't have it figured out yet exactly where the house is going to be in relation to where the road's going to be and all that stuff so I just go ahead and smooth it all out again fill in all those little dips and crevices and see how it goes you can see it's already starting to dry I put a little bit of alcohol and water in the mix this time so Hopefully it'll evaporate a little bit faster. And you can see the thinner areas, it's already basically a dry, chalky, dry look. So get that on there, get it nice and smoothed out. I've got it leveled out to the paper road surface here that I did. Uh, this is probably gonna be like, I don't know, a McDonald's gas station somewhere over here, I'm thinking. So that's where we're at so far. Just like you do body filler. That's my Bondo, my layout Bondo right there. Alright, we'll get to sanding this once it dries and maybe we'll start uh, sprinkling on some grass. Yeah, that looked pretty smooth. Now we'll just add some more paint to it and harden it up and see what it looks like at that point. I'm liking that, I'm liking that so far. Paint will tell us the truth though. Let's get that applied. 
this stuff. Now, shouldn't really say it sucks, but uh, this is Hobby Lobby. Ten dollars. Actually, a pretty good price for a big bag. <clears throat> Plaster nowadays. This is not really quick drawing. Um, I don't know what they think quick is. This stuff took a half hour before it started setting up. Um, my issue was was that I tried to use this for the road, and as you can see, I've got kind of a little bit of a destroyed road at the moment here. Once this stuff starts setting up, it's like, you know, it's it's there. And what's weird is that it wasn't really setting up in the bowl, but as soon as I put it to any kind of dry surface, it like, and just like solidified almost right away. So it was a little difficult in some ways to smear it. Other places I didn't have a problem. It was just weirdly weird. I've used plastic before. This one was not quite, I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. Plaster's plaster, I would think, but this stuff also dries extremely hard, which is fine for some things, but trying to shape it and sand it, I had to get out the real serious digger tool to get into that. The planing, get the weight on the planer there and really to flatten that sucker out. Uh, so I'm gonna have to go over that. Problem was, is I went through here and not where the paper is now. This is another experiment of mine. It's not quite exactly working perfectly. For some reason, this section just didn't want to stick. After it was dry, I started planing it and it started lifting and cracking. So, for whatever reason, it didn't want to stick to the painted surface on here, even though I sanded it. I don't know. That's the first time I've had that happen. So, I might try cutting this with some of the tile grout, seeing if it works better, but I'm not happy with this, at least for what I was trying to use it for. Maybe it'll work better when I get to the mountainous area of the layout over here, or maybe it'll be on the other side. I haven't decided yet on that. But for right now, that didn't really work very good. The other thing that didn't work either was that over here, this was all spray foam that I, that I zhoop down. With a, with a cutter of some sort, a knife, I guess I must have used. And problem was is that I used, first thing I did over here was I used some Woodland Scenics plaster cloth. And <clears throat> it wasn't this exact one, this is a shaper sheet, but you get the idea, it's a roll like that. And it didn't stick either to this. And in fact, the foam actually absorbed the water, as I found out, after I pulled it up, because I was just disgusted by the things not working right. And the plaster, two days later, actually did harden up into the, into the foam. So it worked, it just took a very long time to get there. So that's what's under this. It's a layer of hardened uh, plaster that's kind of soaked into the foam, but that's why I'm really impressed with the tile grout because this is just sanding smooth, beautifully. It's like a couple seconds of sanding and you're there. So, I don't know, this is supposed to be painted black and then I've got some, I'm trying to make a uh, sidewalk and I'm gonna use this. So I figured out like, you know, put this right here and that'll be the sidewalk slash foundation for the buildings. Yeah, this is gonna be like one of them because this already has a sidewalk, so they don't get to like the next building here. And we set it back, recess it. And then I was laying out the little cars here, you know, trying to figure out, okay, which thickness of plastic that I have is going to work better, not look too... Well, basically, in real life, you don't want the, do the doors aren't gonna, well, unless you got a real lowrider car, the doors don't scrape the sidewalk when you open them. So I was trying to figure out like, Okay, I want to come up a little bit towards the side of the tire. This is probably a smidgen too thick as this, but it, it, it works. It looks it looks the part, at least. So I'm kind of focusing on this right now. 
because this is just what I'm interested and motivated to do. See, that's what we got to do here. I'm kind of demotivated from that because that's kind of been fighting me. This is working out really good. When something starts working really good, I just kind of like to keep going. So I need to figure out the spacing of the buildings, the houses, I mean. I think that looked good where it was at. Basically, I'm trying to get it so where I don't really care. You know, people's properties are not level, perfectly flat and level. But where the house is, it is. It's usually, it's, you know, the house is level, right? So I want these to sit level. At least where the house is. So when I say level, I'm not getting out of real level, guys. I'm just, as long as it looks flat, looks the part, that's all I care about. And as long as it's flat where the house is, then I'll maybe do some sanding around it to kind of mimic some hills, you know, unevenness in the yard, you know, basically. Or I might just get lazy and see it because I'm kind of I'm in the mood to use my static applicator here, static grass applicator. But I uh, got the little, I like these little farmhouses. These are really nice. Got the little peoples. Get them to know they're already built up. That's the way to buy them. <laughs> Just like butter. <laughs> 